This is the news that's just coming in. The U.S. National Security Agency or the NSA was authorized to spy on the BJP. CNN IBN has accessed documents put out by the Washington Post that have been leaked by whistleblower Edward Snowden. The BJP is among six foreign political parties that the NSA spied upon. The documents leaked to Washington Post by the NSA analyst turned whistleblower Edward Snowden. Now, according to these documents, the U.S. courts authorized the NSA to spy on the BJP under the Foreign Surveillance uh, Act. The NSA was also spying on 193 foreign governments. The law was approved by the U.S. Attorney General and a copy of the surveillance report was also sent to the U.S. Vice President Joe Biden. Joining us is CNN IBN's Arunodaya Mukherjee live from our newsroom. Also with us, Suhasini Heather, diplomatic editor of The Hindu on the phone line with us. Arunodaya, first a quick uh, uh, run through what those documents reveal. Why was the BJP spied upon? This is a common practice as far as governments are concerned, uh, as far as spying on various political parties, opposition parties, uh, uh, just to understand what exactly is happening in the relevant countries. But of course, this uh, adds a great degree of, uh, uh, you know, a, a lot of questions because this is something that we've seen being raised by various uh, countries on a national stage. This was something that Brazil had raised on the UN stage, saying that this was completely wrong. The US had no authority, moral right to invade other countries' privacy as far as any kind of gathering intelligence was concerned. But I'd just like to take you through some of those documents that CNN and IBN has accessed vis-a-vis uh, uh, -vis Edward Snowden's uh, latest revelation. This is a letter, Ananya, that was written to the uh, Vice President of the United States, uh, Joe Biden, in which all the details about uh, the, their spying activities on various countries is detailed. This is written by the Principal Deputy Assistant Attorney General going from the Attorney General's office. There are also verifications regarding all these documents and spying programs, verifications by the Attorney General of the United States top secret documents as you can see uh, as we are getting you uh, uh, here on CNN and IBN what essentially this does Ananya is it proves uh, that uh, there was a very concrete plan that was put in place by the National uh, Security Agency of the US to go ahead and spy on political parties this is the document which is certainly going to raise a lot of political questions here in the country now especially that the BJP government here is in power this talks about all the political parties in this top secret document again it's labor talk secret and it's coming in from the office of the Attorney General of the US in which they have named the Bharatiya Janata Party along with other political parties of various other countries. In the same group, they're also spying on the Pakistan's People Party. They're also spying on the Egyptian Muslim Brotherhood and Amal, which is a Shia organization based out of Lebanon. So these are some important details and they've all been signed by senior, uh, uh, senior American officials, including the Attorney General of the US. And what's also important, a copy of all these letters and what exactly the National uh, uh, Surveillance Agency, uh, the National Security Agency was doing all the details have also been shared with the vice president with the minority uh, leader of the US Senate as well as the majority leader of the U US Senate so there is a degree of this being in the knowledge of the entire top brass of the current US political establishment all right Arnold, stay with us let's bring in Suhasini Heather as well Suhasini does this news come as a surprise that the US spied not just on foreign governments but on political parties as well including the Bharatiya Janata Party Absolutely, and given that there were only six parties in that list, Ananya, uh, it seems clear that the Bharatiya Janata Party was singled out, in a sense, uh, across the world for this kind of surveillance. The fact that the Bharatiya Janata Party is now in power will mean that the government will have to answer a few questions, uh, uncomfortable ones, in the next few uh, in, the, in the next few weeks. Um, but it, it certainly has come as a surprise. Remember that when it had, uh, w when the first Snowden revelations had come out, the Indian government's response had been lukewarm at the time. Uh, the, uh, the foreign minister, the external affairs minister at the time, Salman Khurshid, had actually said that in fact. Uh I'm sorry, uh, I, I do believe that we've lost that phone link with Suhasini Haider. Just try and reconnect with her. Uh, but Arunodaya Mukherjee, who are the other political parties who've been spied upon by the US? Uh, has it happened in the past that political parties, not just government, uh, have been snooped upon? Uh, well, Ananya, those details are not available through these specific documents as far as uh, whether this has happened in the past or not. But the fact that this is happening uh, and there seems to be a great degree of uh, 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 the manner in which all these letters have been drafted gives a sense that this has happened in the past as well. But Ananya, I'd just like to bring to your notice the letter that uh, had gone out from the office of the Attorney General, the Assistant Attorney General to the Vice President's office along with other important uh, political officials in the US. It is talking about, I just quote a 
brief portion because this becomes relevant here in the Indian context for authority to conduct electronic surveillance for foreign intelligence purposes under the relevant act that we're talking about as per US law. All applications made by the government during the calendar year of 2013 for access to certain business records, including the production of tangible things. Right. And they've also been given authority to conduct physical searches for foreign intelligence purposes. So this becomes significant because if then you tie this up with the fact that now we know that there was an intelligence program against the Bharatiya Janata Party, then these were the extent to which US officials could go in their spying programs against a, a, a BJP, which was clearly singled out. All right. Uh, Swasni Haider back with us on the phone line. Swasni, what does this mean r right now for a BJP-led Indian government and India's relations with the US? We know exactly uh, that the Prime Minister wasn't prompt in responding to the congratulatory messages coming in from the US because of that entire visa hitch with him. Absolutely. It's one more question on that relationship between India and the U.S., just as the two sides are trying to pick up the pieces uh, of ties that uh, that really uh, sank last year in the wake, particularly of the Kobagade incident. But apart from that, Ananya, if you remember at the time, the Indian government had had a very lukewarm response uh, to the original Snowden revelations. Uh, Mr. Salman Khurshid going as far as to, at that time, Say that not only were the, uh, the surveillance was, uh, was innocuous, that the data involved uh, was too large to have specific surveillance involved in it, and finally that in fact it was helping India uh, with its own fight against terror. Now when you talk about surveillance of the National Party, of the BJP, uh, this certainly does not come into any of those categories, and the fact that it is one of six parties that has been, uh, that has been pinpointed worldwide is certainly going to beg some questions. We're hoping to hear from uh, the government, if not the BJP itself, on what their response to these revelations are. In the past, other governments, uh, other countries like Germany, like Brazil, have reacted very sharply with the U.S. Uh, when it came to such surveillance. All right, so Asni Heather and Tarnodha Mukherjee, thanks to both of you for joining us with more on that big news. We are tracking all the updates on IBNlive.com as well, where you can post your thoughts as well on this big news coming in that the US NSA spied upon the BJP.